Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing. Today, we are discussing a 2016 model, your limited edition of 2018 pieces. That is right, it came out in 2016 in honor of the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympic Games. So this is the Omega Seamaster Aquaterra PyeongChang 2018 limited edition. In stainless steel, it's 41.5 millimeters in diameter by 13.1 millimeters thick, lug to lug case only. It measures 48.3 millimeters, but if we measure the end lengths, the total distance across the wrist is 50.3 with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. Zoom out a little bit, pop it on the wrist. You could see that on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it wears nicely. It's large, make no mistake, but it's not oversized. The lugs are nowhere near the edge of my wrist, and you can see that well over the top in particular. There's your down the barrel shot one more time, and you can see this watch will easily fit underneath the dress cuff. I recommend it for wrist as small as 15 centimeters circumference. The bracelet is a high grade piece. You can see it has a conforming end link to better mate it to the case. Polished centers, polished outer faces, satin finished shoulders. There's a little bit of a taper from the end link down towards the clasp where you can see removable links are fixed by screws and we have an intermediate size link on each side for fine tuning the fit if you're in between sizes. Close the clasp. You can see it is a double deployant clasp. It is a sequential close one side before the other. The Omega logo clasp second. Twin trigger release so you have to press both for it to pop open. A great mark of security and bracelet construction. We know this case well. Lyre style lugs since the early 60s. We've known it on innumerable Seamasters and Speedmasters. So inward bevels and outward bevels. Mid case satin finished, outward bevel polished. It diminishes towards the mid case. We have a conical polished bezel with a slight vertical outside lip. And then we have individual numbering on the case flank. This is the pre-2017 model, so this was before the redesign. As a result, the teak deck is vertical, the date is at 3 o'clock, and the crown has a pronounced recess, almost like a shear guard structure. The only part of this watch that's media blasted is the outer face of the crown, which also includes a polished Omega logo. Now, it is a screw-down crown. The watch is 150 meters water-resistant. Steel automatic winding, and truly a sports watch. As you can see, it's very well loomed, including the seconds hand, so fully loomed, and you know if it's running in the dark. We have all applied indices. We also have an applied Omega logo and marquee, an upscale look, the teak deck concept, or the striations of this blue metallic dial, designed to remind us that this is the Omega for the genteel connoisseur of yachts, ballroom dancing, perhaps the putting green. This is the surf and turf Seamaster for the person who may get involved in aquatics, but not the down and dirty frogman style. This is not a diving Seamaster. This is for the ballroom and equally for the deck of the yacht. Now taking a quick look, you can see that the individual indices are beautifully detailed with a combination of satin and polish and micro faceting. We have a broad arrow, minute hand, and then a couple of subsidiary setting modes. The first First of which is convenient. It's a time zone feature that will actually jump the date forward or backwards depending on whether you're traveling east or west. This is great for people who travel and you can see it doesn't stop the seconds hand and it doesn't displace the minute hand. Now if you do want to stop everything and set and sync, this is your hacking seconds second position for the crown. So you have the ability to set this to second against a reference time. Take a quick look. You can see that Pyeongchang 2018 Winter Olympics is written in Olympic colors down from about six o'clock to well, let's call it maybe 3.30. Taking a look at the reverse side, you can see once again we have Olympic graphics. And then we have the well-known caliber 8500, which is a twin barrel, 60-hour power reserve, automatic winding, coaxial chronometer. It's a COSC certified Swiss chronometer with the George Daniels invented tangential contact, direct and indirect impulse escapement known as the coax, which increases power reserve, decreases maintenance requirements, and improves chronometry. This movement has a full balance bridge, which you can see here in a free sprung balance, so it can be precisely adjusted and then withstand fairly rigorous impact and shock. One of the advantages of twin barrels, despite the longish 60-hour power reserve, is that you get a much more even torque release, so it doesn't surge and run fast when fully wound, nor does it lose a huge amount of balance amplitude or time after 24, 36, or 48 hours. The movement does feature a beat rate that's a little bit quirky. It's the 
silicon hairspring specific rate of 25,200 vibrations per hour that is used throughout the Swatch Group on watches that have silicon hairsprings. We have both an anti-magnetic escapement and an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring. So this is a very highly steeled watch against both static and electromagnets. All of this pivoting on 39 joules. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.